What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a new Alex de la Iglesias film called Venecia Frenia. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Alex de la Iglesias. I don't think all of his movies are perfect or anything like that, but he really tries to push himself to do more creative things and do a lot of stuff outside of the box that he's used to. He's got like this weird aesthetic and he also likes to write about big sort of organizations or like these underground things that are going on behind the scenes. He mixes them all in together. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm not a fan of every single movie that he does, but you have to admit that the guy does make good characters. He does have weird, odd, zany moments. And sometimes they're really funny and sometimes they're just kind of good. Sometimes they're just kind of lacking and just the idea just didn't pan out, but he's always doing something different. And to me, that's what art is, is pushing yourself outside of your boundaries and doing new stuff. It's more fun. Venencia Frenia, which is technically Venice like schizophrenia, Venice Frenia. So obviously this is the director, Alex de la Iglesias, who's done The Last Circus, one of my favorite films, The Day of the Beast, and many other odd films. We also got writer Jorge Aguaraca Chavarria. Woo! I hope I said that one right. Uh, the Day of the Beast, he uh, did Action Mutante, Live Flesh. He's done a ton of stuff with Alex as well as many other people. But And it's funny, this is a Spanish film that's doing it in Italy. And I'm going to be doing another review for another Spanish director. Wink, wink, record, R-E-C is doing another movie, so I'll be having that up soon too. It is a movie that is about a bunch of Spanish tourists who decide to go on a bachelorette party to venice with their friends and family and it's this big event and all of a sudden when they get there they start to realize that a lot of the people that live there are not too fond of tourists people who come over on ships like cruise ships and uh, disturb their ecosystem and have essentially ruined venice this is uh, of course some sort of festival where people dress up like the plagues that happened back in the day where they dumped all those bodies on that specific island a jester and a plague mask guy that they bump into in the middle of their vacation and they soon start to realize that these guys are the central characters and something more devious now this is sort of like a slasher film or something a throwback to the sort of giallo style horror but also not on the nose style it's more of just kind of like a homage so it's kind of mixing Spanish because you got Alex de la Iglesia who is mixing in f Italian with his own sort of version of that. So it's not going to be exactly like that. So for slasher fans, yes, I think there's going to be things that you will enjoy. You know, Jalo fans, yeah, obviously there's a mystery in this whole thing that's going on, but it is much more of a thriller movie. There's a lot of less gore on this one. And this one seems to be getting a lot of shit reviews, I'll be honest, which personally, I mean, some of these are just ridiculous. Like, guys, if you're going to review a movie and I realize I'm not, a, I don't even feel like I'm a professional, but I do take this shit very seriously. And if you're going to mark a movie one, you better come correct with why that movie is the most terrible compared to millions of other films. OK, there's a, there's a thing here. You can dislike a movie and that doesn't mean it's a one it just means you didn't like the story or you didn't like these elements all these other elements that make up a movie can still be good and doesn't make that whole movie a one so me it's like a balance of all these things and this movie where i personally feel that it has the most trouble is kind of the tone a little bit which seems to be a little bit of an issue with a lot of people the ending of this movie is also going to lose a lot of support because the end i didn't even really like but there are some elements in this movie that i really did enjoy and one thing alex de la iglesia does is has some interesting characters now not all the characters in this movie are super interesting and they're definitely going for a younger generation in this film and the pacing of this is not as all over the place like alex de la iglesia likes to do he kind of uh, puts you into different things kind of like uh, tarantino does and then brings them all together but this one's a little bit more linear and it's not as broken up like that although you one could argue that but it has like a younger appeal because these kids are younger they're getting married and they're going on 
this vacation. They're kind of going out there with this sort of spring break mentality, you know? So they're out there having a blast in Venice. All the, the people who live there are like, ah, yeah. look at these fucking people, you know, these tourists. And, and, you know, some bad shit. People start dying. A friend goes missing and they got to look out for him. And everybody's denying everything around them. That's the thriller sort of thing in this. I think that the characters could have been much better better but there is still some interesting stuff going on here like if i had to compare this movie to anything man it has like a giallo style to it i don't know like when your friend's missing and you you're trying to prove everybody wrong and they're all lying to you that's like the a theme that's in this movie you know i kind of got really interested and i started really getting into it in the second act and then the third act just kind of flopped <laughs> it's like i was like okay so the first act i'm like eh. Second act, hey, this is starting to get really good. Third act, not so good. So there is a little bit of gore in this film, which kind of made me excited because when uh, Alex de la Iglesias gets violent, he gets pretty violent. And there are a few deaths in the film, but they are very subpar, except for one in particular. And there aren't that many that are really that great and by the end of the movie you're going to be kind of like well i thought this was going to be a slasher okay it's something else why did they do this and then by the end you're going to be like okay why well i just don't i don't get it there's this supposed to be this like oh that's the other movie i would say that it would compare to v from vendetta but on a touristy scale <laughs> So it's hard to explain without actually spoiling it. This is probably going to be low for many people. I don't think it deserves a one like some of these people that were reviewing it are. Just It just pisses me off. It's definitely arguable to be around a five to a six. You know, you know, you could definitely debate it over a point or two, but it's not going to go down to a one. This is actually pretty well shot. The writing is a little all over the place but far more linear than most of his other films the dialogue is very fast and high paced so it's going to be hard to read if you hate subtitles heads up especially in the beginning by the way but the other characters are a little bit more nuanced they've got like this sort of uh, art artistry about them they say things with style so it's uh you know an interesting story did i really love the story not so much. Did it look nice? Yes. Hell yeah. There's a lot of really good looking shots in here. Overall, it's just kind of slightly above average. The story is going to end on a weird note. And I think a lot of people are going to hate this movie for, but I'm a little bit more lenient with it because I still find nuggets in there that I really liked. It's just a disappointment overall, but I would still give this movie probably like a five and a half or six out of 10. I don't think it's like an eight out of 10 or anything like that, but I definitely don't think it's a one. But if you're going to check it out anyway, it is up for $3 to rent on Amazon and all your digital places. Just type in V, just look at the spelling up above. I'm not going to do it again. I had a hard time just trying to get the word right so yeah Venencia Freña but I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this movie this is a older movie that actually just now got put out it was actually made in 2021 but got pushed back until like April of 2022 and then we're just getting it in 2023 so you can imagine this has been a couple of year old movie but it is new to us so it's new to me and I'm telling you guys about it because I know some of my viewers are definitely Alex De La Iglesias fans so let me know what you think in the comment section down below did you see this movie yet did you even know it was out are you a fan let me know down below and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button as well as also hitting that little bell notification stab the shit out of that so you know when i got a new video coming up i've been not getting the algorithm this past week or two but i know i'm not that consistent so any help i would greatly appreciate it but thanks for coming by guys and as always long live the void